Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about Septic Tanks Introduction of septic tanks in a city, houses, and apartments are designed to follow a sewage system. Many houses and apartments share the same sewage, and this waste is then either discharged into a running river or some barren area such as a field. The reality is that this wastewater can get contaminated along its public journey of Waste Collection and Disposal Over the past few years, many people have started moving back to the suburbs or Bunas, looking to escape densely populated areas in an effort to find tranquility. Some have also taken notice of environmental hazards that are harming nature and natural habitats around us. With these trends, septic tanks have returned to help homes get rid of waste as well as protect the environment. If you are one of these people looking to escape the city and begin using a septic tank, it's important you understand how septic systems work. You'll be impressed by their design, efficiency, and environmentally friendly process. What is a septic tank? A septic tank is an underwater tank installed in a household that is used to treat the wastewater and remove toxins from it before it is drained in nature or recycled. It really is a perfect combination of technology, engineering, and biological reaction. A septic tank collects and treats wastewater in a property that isn't linked to the main sewer system and is, thus, most commonly used in rural areas. The term septic means infected with microorganisms, the tanks contain bacteria that break down organic waste. The inclusion of a bacterial treatment mechanism would be the difference between a septic tank and a cesspit, and such structures have both industrial and residential appliances. Benefits of Septic Tanks There are a few benefits associated with septic tank systems. For one, Septic tanks are environmentally friendly. They do not contaminate the surrounding natural resources around them. Septic tanks are also cost effective. A single septic tank can go on for decades if it's maintained properly which includes getting it regularly pumped and making sure only the correct substances go into the tank. How does a septic tank work? A septic tank may digest organic matter and separate floatable matter, e.g., oils, and grease and solids in the wastewater a septic tank will be connected with two pipes, for inlet and outlet. The inlet pipe can be used to transport the water waste from the house and collect it in the septic tank. It's kept here long enough so that the liquid and solid waste are separated from each other. The second pipe is the outlet pipe. It can also call the drain field. This pipe moves out of the pre-processed wastewater from the septic tank and spreads it evenly from the soil and water courses. When wastewater was collected after a while, it will begin to separate into three layers. 
As shown in the image above, the top layer is oils and grease and floats above all the waste. This commonly referred to as scum. The middle layer contains waste water along with waste particles. The third and bottom layer consists of particles that are heavier than water and form a layer of sludge. Bacteria within the tank does it is best to break down the solid waste, which then allows liquids to drain and separate away easily. What's left at the bottom of the tank is what needs to be periodically removed as part of general maintenance. This is one of these reasons why a septic tank is only a basic form of sewage treatment. Septic Tank Construction It's best to construct a single compartment for small capacity septic tanks. Larger capacities are the best fit for a both compartment tank. The wall separating the both is about two-thirds the length away from the inlet. It, therefore, perform better than the single compartment tank. Both compartments interconnect above the sludge storage using pipes or square openings. A plastic or concrete tank would be the best to use. The floor and side walls are made with plastered and concrete to render a smooth surface. The floor has a slight slope of 10% towards the sludge outlet. As air salt, slung moves out more easily. The top cover of a septic tank is watertight and very thick. But a manhole of relative size is created. This allows inspection and emptying of the tanks. Design of a septic tank A septic tank is normally made of fiberglass, plastic, and even concrete. Often, there are two chambers located in the tank which are divided by a wall. The larger chamber holds the wastewater while the solids settle in the smaller chamber. There are compartments in the tank and an outlet in a T-shape that acts as an outlet for water. Overall, these tanks provide a safe way to dispose of the wastewater from a single household. Septic tank design based per user consumption The proper capacity of a septic tank is essential otherwise wastewater backflow toward the house. The septic tank system much designed considering a future increase in wastewater generation design proper capacity septic tank that may last long for years. Let take one example of house for members. Daily water usage for a house for person. Cooking 8 liters. Bathing and toilet 90 liters slash person. So for 4 person 360 liters slash day. Washing clothes and utensils 28 liters. Cleaning house 12 liters. Other 8 liters total for 16 liters slash day approximately we consider detention time as 4 days. So the design tank should have the capacity to retain the total wastewater in 4 days 4 16 times 4 equals 16 64 liters so. We take more than that about 1,800 liters capacity minimum for a home. For septic tank design depth of the tank should not be less than 1.5 m. 
take sludge settled down per person 30 liters year. So here we take sludge removal one year once. Total accumulated sludge equals 30 liters x4 persons x1 yars equals 120 liters total septic tank capacity equals 1800 plus 120 equals 2120 liters we know that 1 cubic meter equals 1000 liters equals 2120 1000 equals 1.92 cubic cubic meter area required at 1.8 m depth equals 1.92 1.5 equals 1.28 square meter. We take the length and width ratio of septic tank is 4 colon 1 or 2 colon 1 length, L breadth, B, ratio taken as 4, 1 so. 4B2 equals 1.28 square m where B equals 0.565 m. Note, minimum width of tank should not be less than 750 mm. So that L equals 4 times 0.75 equals 3 m L 3 m, B 0.75 m. Depth equals 1.5 plus 0.3 equals 1.8 m. Free board should be provided at least 300 mm. Septic tank capacity equals 3 x 1.8 x 0.75 equals 4.05 cum septic tank capacity equals 4.05 x 1000. Design based per user consumption. The septic tank process curious about how the process works? The outlets normally divide the disposed of water into three compartments before it is excreted out of the system. There are three layers that build in the septic tank once all the waste is entered into it. These three layers are namely Effluent Sludge Scum Effluent this is the part that fills the tank. It's basically watery waste. Sludge sludge comprises all the solids and the side results, byproducts, of bacterial decomposition. Scum scum is the top layer of fats, grease, and other oils. Really? A septic tank looks like a settling pond because all the heavy solids sink to the bottom and the lighter insoluble items like oils and grease stick to the top. The solids are separated from the water through filters and different chambers. The large portion is covered by water, known as the affluent and the smaller chamber houses the solid waste. There are drain holes in the tank that allow the water to reach the gravel. Solids are prevented by a filter from leaving the septic tank with the help of a filter. Septic Tank Maintenance most septic tanks operate for years and their life length can be prolonged through proper maintenance such as septic tank pumping. You need to get an annual check by a professional who will assess the condition of your septic tank and recommend treatment. Keep the following things away from the drain in your house. Wipes and tissues pads and tampons, cat litter, baby diapers, paint, cigarettes if a septic tank is not pumped regularly, 
it is possible for different items to stick in the filters, and eventually, this could lead to blocked chambers and clogging. To avoid a septic tank repair that could cost thousands down the road, you need to make sure that you are following the guidelines of septic tank maintenance. Frequently maintained septic tank can actually last for almost over 25 years, which is a huge lifespan so long as you take care of the septic system. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.